Hi, Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. Today I'm up in DKIT Sports uh, with Paul Hoy from the Dundalk uh, Schoolboy League representative team that finished seventh up in the Mill Cup. Firstly, Paul, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for having me. Um, just in terms of, of the Mill Cup, uh, how your squad kind of came about, uh, the journey up to the Mill Cup, and obviously how you did last year in comparison to this year. Kind of talk us a little bit through your journey, if you wouldn't mind. Um, we started off, uh, myself, Martin and David, we, we started doing a bit of scouting around the Schoolboys League. We started had open trials, open training sessions, and we were very impressed with, with the talent that we saw. And uh, we, we went around, we looked at lads, we took fighting for training, and we all got together, we narrowed down the squad to 20 odd players. And attitude the lad showed us, the talent that we saw was brilliant and they worked really hard. Um, they weren't attached to any Irish league clubs, they weren't attached to any League of Ireland clubs, and there was two or three lads straight away were outstanding. But then we trained once a week, um, we worked in a lot of shape in our training, looking at our crossing and finishing our training. We played a lot of uh, pre season tournaments. It didn't go too well for us, but we were kind of experimenting, myself and Martin, about 5-4-1, 4-4-2, 4-5-1, what to play. And it all came good for us in the Middle Cup. It was a brilliant experience for me and the lads. And what we had to do to get there, like it cost us, me and Martin were talking about this the other day, it was seven, seven and a half grand to take us down there. The parents, the people of the town, the lads themselves, the stand outside Tesco's, bucket collections, packing bags outside Dunn stores to raise money, the parents had helped us as well and uh, selling lines and you know we had the, the bare minimum resources the school boys league had to in comparison to the other clubs oh yeah against. like you're in the middle cup you have man united you're competing against yeah. newcastle united you have international teams you have county selective teams and the county answer went on and won it shows how strong they are you know we had the pick of the dog school boys league you know uh, pick of uh, belong the key shamrocks rock celtic as i said none of our boys are playing irish league level all the county teams are. Um, we went down, compared to last year, we done reasonably well last year. We were very unlucky in certain games, but we only won one game last year. Um, but this year, uh, on the way down, myself, Martin, David, the management team, coaching team, we sat down, we spoke about tactics. What could we uh, play against Kalina from Chile? We knew they'd be technically good. So we said, you know, let's get at them and see what they're like. Against our Ma, we're very similar to us. Again, a lot of lads are playing at a high level and they have a selective account. And then we played Leeds United in the last game. We were well organised, good technical side, very strong in midfield. And, you know, we got seven points out of nine and it was brilliant. The work ethic of the lads, the character of the lads. What impressed me and Martin and Davey was how well they got on well off the field together, which I think is a very important Did you, quality. Did you spend a lot of time kind of getting to the bond together or was it just a natural thing? Uh, it was a natural thing, but in our sessions, you know, me, Martin, and they, if we're working on shape, we always said, stop, stand still. When you haven't got the ball, uh, what should we do? And we all said, well, why should we do that? Because after doing my UFA licence, I was taught an awful lot of working on shape and not just kicking balls out and running around. We spent a lot of time in shape and working together as a team. You know, if the fullback has the ball, where should we be? If, if the centre half has the ball, where Talk should we be? In, yeah. So we drilled them all into them and it paid off dividends down the middle. The boys were brilliant. You know, I knew they had potential in them. You know, first time I saw we Ryan O'Kane, he was brilliant in the ball on the wing. And I said, that young lad's going to go places. Myself, Martin and Davey said that. Lucky enough, he wasn't attached to any League of Ireland club. And we took him on, brilliant. Um, our first game against Kalina, the weather was raining, so we knew kind of waiting to sit them boys. <laughs> so we knew to get in our face, but again, technically all good. Our tactics, we played 4-5-1. We played long balls into the channels. Me, Martin, we sat down before the game and we said, you know what, let's do it. Me, they won't like it, and I didn't like it, we won 2-0. And then we played Armagh, who was strong, Armagh could have been 3-0 up before half-time. Very strong on set pieces, very strong. They got the goal in the 90, I think it was the 68th minute, because we only played 30 minutes down there. 68th yeah. minute, they scored a fantastic 35-yard free kick to put us out. They meet Man United in the semi-finals by one goal. And then we played Leeds, and we knew we had to beat Leeds by two goals, and we bet them 3-2. But again, it was brilliant. And then, I believe there was a bit of a motivational speech. Ah, uh, <laughs> there was. Uh, someone said to me today, I was like, man, we'll, we'll make sure to show that in, but anyway, go on. Yeah, I just, after the game, because I played in the Mill Cup myself years ago, 
and we got six points out of nine and we qualified for the Milk Cup and this, this group of lads we had got seven. And I made realise that the lads keep their feet in the ground here. What well, we're overachieving here, we're been brilliant here. Seven points out of nine. We had we hadn't got a Legion I'd have like they can go around anywhere in Europe and pick players. We don't have that option. Um, uh, as I said, pick up the county. Uh, Colleen have the pick of their home Yeah, but you only have the pick of. Well, you only have the pick of, really. uh, of junior lads, you know. And you know, Dundalk FC, local side, like New Dundalk, one point. They have all the first, first preference of the lads. It was obviously it's a higher level. The lads who want to go on and push on. But we had the pick of what was left there. Yeah. And what was left there was excellent. We could work with the lads. I just feel I was speaking to Martin about this and Davy as well. A lot of lads disregarded very quickly. Disregarded because maybe they're too small or maybe they lack a wee bit of speed. But we, I said, take them on. We work with them every day. We work with them on their fitness. We work on their technical ability. We work on their shape, and we drill into them. And in six or seven months, it paid difference for us. You know, yeah. so it was brilliant. Like, I'm, I believe you had, you had a bit of a situation in goals. How did that come about? Well, our keeper Jack got injured about three weeks before the tournament and we were looking around for a keeper and uh, Ross Finley was recommended to us he was with the Dock FC and we seen him for the first time in training and I thought he was excellent great hands, good presence, good corner kicks, great kickouts and he went down in the Milk Cup, him and Thomas were excellent and, and if I, as I believe Charlton and Lerick are interested and he's going to Watford now Ross for a couple of weeks trial next week as I've been told to believe yeah. it just shows a fairy tale story like you know I don't think he any club and uh, we Ryan O'Kane got player of tournament at junior level ahead of Man United, ahead of County Antrim who won it, ahead of London Derry who had a couple of excellent players, ahead of uh, Charlton Athletic, Plymouth Argyle, Northern Ireland. To get that award was, was fantastic for him, brilliant for him. So what we've done and what we had to work with and train on once a week, what we achieved to almost get to the finals of the Super Cup was brilliant. Yeah, and you know, now from, from that, Story, do you see maybe some of the lads kicking on getting trials elsewhere or something like that? Well, I'd be very surprised if they didn't. They could. I know you've got you've got two of the boys. Two of the boys, well we know at our games there was an awful lot of interest. Agents were there talking to parents, there were scouts there talking to Martin, myself and we know Charlton and Lettick very keen, you know, Watford and Leeds and it was like, you know, I'd be if none of them lads are signed up by their sixteen, I'd be very surprised, yeah. Yeah, and how well they performed in the cup against English opposition, against county teams, you know, who are very, very strong, you know. Yeah, I and mean, the academies over there are a lot different to, to what you're oh, working it with oh, as well, yeah. you know. Yeah, we wouldn't have the resources they have. We wouldn't have, you know, the sports nutrition, the sports science. We just kind of old school, you know. Some, someone said to us the other day, you're a bit like Wimbledon, the way you just play. And I says, well, if it works, it works, you know. So yeah. The way Wimbledon used to play years ago. But we had to do what we had to do. Yeah. We knew our strengths, we knew our limits, so we worked, we worked on that. Yeah, so but in another aspect, your accommodation again, would, would that have been different to what they would have been? Well, we had student digs, well, obviously Man United are probably, well, we heard her stay in the five-star hotel, you know, and, and we got more points than them in the group, but no, we, we, it, was, it is what it was, you know, it was what it was, so we, we had to walk around it, so we were short pillows in, 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 in our digs, so the boys just snuckled in and got on with it, so. <laughs> yeah, so a, a massive fair play to, to you and the team for what you achieved in that aspect. Yeah, as I said, we went down there, probably has won the lowest ranked teams. Um, I think it's the best that the Dog School Boys League have done in the last maybe nine, ten years from speaking to other coaches that were involved. But it was great to see parents there as well, encouraging the lads. It was great to see people from the town there. You know, it was great. I really enjoyed it. It was a great experience for me as well, but the lads are brilliant. I, do, enough I, I think it's a, it's a great um, you know, advertisement for, for Irish football as well, in that, in oh, that absolutely, sense. absolutely, yeah. Some yeah. of the players that you mentioned there, you know, people who are watching this video now, maybe can keep an eye on if they do get the trials and yeah. all going well. Yeah. The trials go well for them as well. Yeah. But Paul, Indeed. listen, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show. No, no, thank, thank you Thank you for, you for your time. No, I and uh, best of luck in, in your future endeavours, yeah. what you're doing with your coaching and yeah. keep up the good work, okay? Thank you. Yep. Um, guys, uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the rest of our videos um, by liking, subscribing, and we're aiming to get that 3K subscribers now. So please get on and subscribe and check out. You guys have a Facebook page? Yeah, we have. Uh, or Instagram. The, the School Boys League page, yeah, on Facebook. You type it up or there, yeah. So uh, we'll drop that in the subscription as well, and you can go over and have a look and check out the lads and make sure and give their page a like. Thank you very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV. Have a great day.